Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Exo System Camp Kitchen Deluxe Kit. So this will be a full camp kitchen setup. We have all our add-ons and tables and stoves and we'll take a look at how it all works right here. If you want to live that fully decked out van life, but you don't have a van or you don't want to drive around a van and you want to, let's say, go overlanding, go camping, but have everything ready, then this is a great way to do so. Now, this works with the Yakima Exo system. We have it on the top shelf right now, but if you get the freestanding legs, you could just use the camp kitchen on its own and set up wherever you want to set it up. So we'll take a look at some of its features because it has a lot. A quick overview of the things included with the deluxe kit. You get two different tables. You get your bamboo table, which has a sink, and then you get your metal table, which has a heat resistant top. Perfect for if you want to put your stove there. You get all the accessories included with those tables, but the main thing is going to be your open range box. This is the core of the camp kitchen. You have space for storage. You have other accessories that can fit inside. That way you're not just carrying around food, but all of the things to prepare your food with. If you like the concept of the camp kitchen, but you're not ready to commit to the extra side tables, perfectly fine. You can get the base kit, which includes your open range and is a great way to start. Starting with our open range, which again is the core of this system, you have this durable box, but it also has this rubber seal. That way you can protect the cargo, which is your food, from outside elements. So whether it's weather, dust, or even critters, this helps keep everything safe. Now to secure it, you do have these two latches. So they work like this to keep it nice and secure, but you also have two lock cores and two keys included. So you just turn this to secure the latch, and once it's locked, no one is able to open up that latch. Now with lock cores, if you already have the Yakima Exo system, you know that there's a lot of lock cores involved. So just double check, make sure you get an extra pack of same key system lock cores if you want everything to be key to like and match. We have this metal shelf inside just to help keep things organized. This is also a great spot to put put maybe your plates, your utensils, go in this slide out drawer here. You can also put the stove up top with its bag just to keep it from sliding around. Now for total space, that's going to be 85 liters or 90 quarts of space. Just remember you are limited by that shelf. For the height of the inside, it's gonna be eight and a quarter inches for your bottom shelf and then five and a quarter inches for your top shelf. The inside dimensions for width is gonna be 28 inches of width, although you are limited by the sides where you have those angles. The lid folds out, which makes it a great prep station, although you can't really put your stove here because of what it's made of. You wanna make sure that there's no heat melting that plastic. And also, if you put too much weight on this lid, it is a tip over hazard. So for the tables, you get two tables and this is going to be your metal side table. So you have that heat resistant metal, great for if you want to put your stove on top of there, but you also have some other features here. So all your tables are going to have little notches where you can put the accessories. So whether you want to use your lantern stand or you want to use your baseboard, you can mix and match and put them wherever you want. On the side, you also have this swing out wire hanger. So this can be used either for your dish cloths, although I do recommend getting something with a button so it doesn't fly off with the wind, or you can hang other items with some hooks. One example is you can hang your propane tank using the included tank bag. So whether you want to use it on the table itself or off the hook or higher up when you have it in a higher position, that's up to you. This gives you all those different options. So for measurements, we're gonna measure from the side of the box to the end of the table. That's gonna add 34 inches off the side. And then for width, that's gonna be about 17 inches. 
So the height of the table can be adjusted by this leg and it just involves twisting and then rotating to whichever height you want. So for the maximum height, which is where we have it here, we're gonna measure from our table to the ground and that's 43 inches. So included is the Yakima cookout stove. So you have your windscreens here just to help protect the flame, but also prevent splattering as you cook. You've got your two burner stove and you have two regulators included. You can get a, or use a flexible regulator or the rigid regulator, whichever is easier for you to hook up to gas. So the input is going to be on the right side of the stove. Something to keep in mind when making sure you have your fuel in the right spot. While you could hook this up pretty much wherever you want, ideally please have your fuel at a 45 degree angle for best and safest output. You do have an included bag which feels like a laptop bag with how it has those pockets and how it's padded and that way when you're packing everything up, which is very simple, you can then just store the entire stove inside the bag, makes it easier to carry around. Just make sure it's cool before you do so. And here we have our bamboo wooden table. So we have a cutout for the included sink. This is a collapsible sink. So you can have just a flat surface if needed for food prep, or if you wanna fill it up with water, push that through and you now have a basin. So if you have your own water source or you carry around a water jug, you could fill this up with water. It does retain it since you have a plug at the bottom and when you need to drain, you just pop that plug out. Now, if you don't want it draining directly onto your box and other accessories, you do have an included drain tube where you can divert the water flow somewhere else. So as helpful as it is in theory, I personally would just bring the whole basin out and maybe dump it somewhere else so I'm not adding water in my campsite. A big question, especially when you're prepping food, is is this food grade, can you use it as a cutting board? Well, for your bamboo table, you actually cannot use it as a cutting board. Neither can you use the sink for that purpose. And because of that, they have a special cutting board that has a cutout that fits perfectly in there. And then you get an almost flat surface all around. So the exosystem is all about modularity. So you can prep your sandwich on the cutting board, take the entire board out, move it over to the other table. And when you're done, you can wash your dishes afterwards with the sink. So a lot of things to move around, just like you can move around the accessories, you can also move around the individual components. Now the dimensions of the bamboo table is gonna be smaller than the metal table. So we have it at 27 and three quarter inches of length added to the back of our box. And our total width is going to be 13 and a quarter inches. So the same as the metal table, it uses the same leg with the same height, and it also has those four notches for your other accessories. So there's something worth considering when using this with your EXO system, especially in the swung out version. It's awesome as a base camp because as long as you have the jack stand on your swing base and you have everything else set up, you've got a really cool campsite here, but you are limited when it comes to clearance. For example, if you have a top shelf swung out 180 degrees, you can only use one side unless there's a lot more clearance on the other side between your car. So one solution to this is just swinging it back out that way. The downside to that is if you do have something like the box below, you can't open up the box. Another thing worth considering is how much space do you have between your door and the camp kitchen in this position. So it looks like it comes close, but we do have clearance. Something to help you out with that measurement is measure from the center of your hitch pin hole and then go out. So where our camp kitchen sits is 24 inches away from that spot. So once you have your swing base and or top shelf all set up, the first thing to do is to get the open range on there. So make sure all the knobs are open and everything's ready to go. 
open range has cleats on them and they just sit onto the tracks. They drop in there. Now tighten it down using your locking speed knobs. And now it's time to set up the tables. So you're gonna have these rungs and if you want to, if you already know where you want to put them and you're not going to change it, you can install just one and that's perfectly fine. You get two for each table. So if you have two tables, you can go ahead and set up all four for all of the height options. So start by taking off the old hardware. You actually can reuse this because there really are the same bolts as included with your kit but the new one has a washer. So let's just go ahead and use the new hardware in order to install our rungs. Make sure the rungs are facing this direction and they are not upside down as you tighten them back down. We have all four rungs set up, two on each side, just to give us different height options. You can even put this on the handle too if you want to. Now, if you have it on the top shelf with how high the leg is, you probably could only use the bottom rung. If you have it on its own legs though, where it's freestanding, you can then get those different height options for the different tables. You start by loosening the knob on the table. That way it's open for you to slip this onto the rung. And then to secure it, you just tighten down that knob. Next, set up the leg. So this will have to be removed every time you take the open range off, but it's very simple. You just loosen this knob here, just enough where it can slide into that groove on your table. Tighten that back down. And now you have this other adjustment knob. So once that's loose, you can pick which notch gives you a level surface. Right here, second from the bottom looks good. So we're gonna tighten that down. So let's open that up and then pop this in here. There we go. The metal table works the same way where you clip it in, set out the table. When packing things away, you can put some of the things like the table and the leg away inside the open range. I prefer to put it in like the box or the basket underneath. That way the open range is just full of things I actually want in there like food, but that is up to you. Everything's very portable and put awayable. And that right there was a look at the Yakima Open Range Camp Kitchen Deluxe right here at E-Trailer. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.